Hey boys, no one. Sorry, it's not been too consistent recently. It's just no excuses to be honest. It's just I've had work and there's definitely times I could have fit in. I just chose not to. My mistake. I'm learning just like you and that's all I gotta say regarding that. But I wanna talk today. Just got a little quick chat with you. I'm gonna go I'm at that spot again. That lovely spot. So I just wanna have a quick chat to you about negative people. So when you're on your self-improvement journey, when you feel like you're doing bits, you feel like you've made progress, you, you're getting the things you want, and then all of a sudden there's people around you who want to lure you back into the things you don't want to do. For example, drinking. There's people who want to like not really see you get too far ahead of them because they're a bit, they'll be a bit jealous. They'll think, oh no, I've got to step up my game. I've got to get up to where he's at. I've got to level myself up to that point. And that's exactly the problem. You. These people are jealous and they don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you go way too far. They don't want to see you leap ahead of them. So what they'll do is they'll try and say all these things just to like keep you stationary, keep you where you are. So an example of this is what they like. This is one they love to say. One they love to say is they love to be like, oh, no, but um, it's okay to have a bit of fun. It's okay to like lay off a bit. Come on, but it's just one drink this month and then it'll be the same next month. It's an occasion. It's a... So what I'm saying to you is if you're dedicated on this mission and you've got an idea of where you want to go in life and your mindset is not weak, you're not tempted by these small things that will make you want to do the bad habits, it'll make you want to drink, smoke, watch porn, things like that, then you'll succeed. It's a difficult path to go on. Trust me, this can be a lonely path sometimes. This has been the most independent I've felt this year because of self-improvement. I always felt like since I was a kid, I was like kind of relying on people to do things for me and I'm still, I'm trying to break out my comfort zone, be more independent and do, be more independent and do things myself. Apologies for the stutter, but for example, I'm going to book a flight in November to go see my friends and I've never booked a flight by myself before. I've never been in the airport by myself before. So there's something new, there's something new I'm going to have to do. Does it make me nervous? Yes, it makes me uncomfortable. The little autism inside of me can't believe I'm doing things like this, but it's like suffering leads to growth. Like feeling uncomfortable will lead to your inevitable growth. And even if it's something small, like even if it is something small, like just going to the airport, even if it is something just doing something by yourself, even small things like that. I mind I used to have a massive fear of going to the gym by myself. I used to hate going to the gym by myself. I would need someone to do it because I always had the fear of, oh, what if I mess this up? Oh, what if I drop this weight? Or, and then I realized I was being a dumbass by thinking I can just be, do ego lifts and that'd be it. If I could just be this massive hench guy, no, it doesn't work like that. You gotta build your way up. And it's just mental, like, the way your mind can trick you into not doing things that aren't even that scary. It's, it's a weird one, honestly. But don't let these negative people get in your head. Stay disciplined to the path. And if these people try and like, put their w beliefs onto you, they try and say, oh no, it didn't work out for me. Just because it didn't work out for them does not mean it will not work out for you. This world is beautiful and there's so much opportunities and so much things to explore and you can't get there just by being small-minded. Open, open your mind up. Be open-minded about every subject and then you'll just, you'll be more driven to find knowledge about it and you'll want to learn more about anything and everything and that's where passion for life comes from. So don't let these people get in your head too much and if you do feel like they're invading your head and getting too much into your head, then try and stay away from them and distance yourself as best you can. And if they're your friends and you gotta, gotta let them go because they're not your friends because your friends will want to see you fucking succeed in this life. But these guys obviously don't, so. Just a quick one. Don't let the negative people bring you down because you're on a mission and I want to see you succeed. Take care and I'll see you in a bit, boys.